here in this code sample we have two files. Uh, the two files are uh, saved within the demo folder. The demo folder is in htdocs, so we can actually uh, request those two files uh, using HTTP requests coming from the web browser. Now here we have a script element that refers the dojo library and this attribute means that we will use dojo library, library in an asynchronous way. And here we have a script element where we call the function require in order to load a dojo request module. This module allows us to um, perform AJAX requests. So once the module is loaded, uh, this function is invoked. The reference for the object that represents this uh, module is passed over to the request parameter we have in this anonymous function. As I explained before, this anonymous function is invoked once uh, the loading of this model completes. So when the anonymous function is invoked, here I invoke the function uh, that the object that represents it, uh, its reference was passed over to this parameter. Actually, the object that represents this module is a function. So calling this function, passing over uh, this uh, URL, which is actually the URL for the cities.txt file in the same folder, means that we want uh, to get uh, to have a request, an HTTP request sent using the XHR object uh, in the background. And once the response arrives, we want the function we pass over as the first argument to the then function, then function as you can see is invoked on the object that request function uh, returns, then this function will be invoked uh, when the response arrives successfully, this function will be invoked when there is a problem. So if we try to execute this code sample, uh, this is the output we get to the log, to the uh, console, and as you can see we have an indication for the request using the using the XHR object. Uh, the method is get and the request is for this file. And once the response arrives, the content that arrived is printed to the console. Uh, as you can see, this the first argument I pass over to the then function, the first argument is a reference for um, an object that represents a function um, that once the response arrives successfully, that function is invoked and the response, the content itself, is passed over as the first argument. So I can just take that text and do something with it.